Hello everyone, welcome to this another question on complex ana analysis. This question appeared in GATE 2000 and this is of 2 marks. This is also another very simple question. In this question they are asking what is the value of this integral dz divided by z square minus 1 when computed over c where the c is defined by the circle z minus 0 mod is equal to 4. So, the center of this particular circle that is equivalent to the point 0 that means origin and the radius of this particular circle that is equivalent to 4. So, here you see let us first draw the region of interest. So, this is our origin and say this is our point 4, this is the point minus 4, this is again 4, this is again minus 4. So, we can draw a circle having radius 4 and make uh, oriented in this positive direction, right? So, this is our C having center at 0. So, now they are saying what is the value of this integral. So, next step is, this is our step 1. Second step is to evaluate the singularities. In order to evaluate the singularities, we just substitute the denominator equivalent to 0. So, from here you see z is equal to plus minus iota are the possible points of singularities. And you see if this is 1 and if this is minus 1, both of these points, I'm sorry, plus minus uh, iota would be here, right? So, it would be 0 plus iota and 0 minus iota. So, it would lie on this y-axis. So, this is this is one possible singularity and this is another possible singularity. So, these singularities, they, these lie inside of the given curve C. So, that means we are to calculate the residues at both of these points. So, the value of this integral according to Cauchy residue theorem, it says that the value is equivalent to 2 pi iota multiplied by the sum of the residues calculated at these two singularity points. So, that means we are to evaluate the residue of the function f of z. Let, let me call f of z as 1 upon z square minus 1. So, the residue of this function calculated at the point iota plus the residue of the same function calculated at the point minus iota. So, let us quickly find out the residues. The first residue would be obtained by substituting this limit z goes to iota, the value of the function 1 upon, I am sorry, it should be z minus iota multiplied by the value of the function. And what is the value of this function? So, you can write this to be z minus iota and z plus iota. So, we can directly write this to be z minus iota and z plus iota here. So, this and this cancels and the second term here, this residue term, it would be limit z goes to minus iota because the point here is minus iota. And then z minus of minus iota, so that would be z plus iota, and then multiplied by this the whole thing. So, it would simply be z minus iota into z plus iota. So, from here z plus iota and z plus iota cancels. So, we would have 2 pi iota multiplied by, so here if you substitute in place of z as iota, we would have 1 upon iota plus iota and then here if you substitute in place of z minus iota we would have minus iota minus iota so this is equivalent to 2 pi iota multiplied by 1 by 2 iota and this thing is minus 1 by 2 iota so obviously this terms and this term they both cancel out each other so the resultant obtained that is 0 so, for the current case, the value of this integral comes out to be 0 as seen. Therefore, option B here is the correct option. Well, I hope you understood this very simple question. That is it this uh, for this video. Thank you for watching.